attend a public or private public public what was your favorite subject english why i loved the teacher oh that's amazing why did you love the teacher yeah why did you love the teacher he was teaching me okay that's amazing uh, did you participate in extracurricular activities yes which extracurricular activity did you compete did you go for competitions oh, yes, no, we did go. oh but you participated yes. do you still participate up to today yes which is good huh? yes. uh -huh. what do they make you feel what? as in the uh, when you play how does it uh, how do how do you feel i feel good it's no. my hobby oh it's your hobby yes. Ah, that's amazing. That's a good hobby. How did you prepare for exams? I uh, used to wake up at 2. Mm -hmm. I used to 2 a.m.? Yes. Mm -hmm. But I didn't revise at night, so I slept early to wake up at 2. Okay. You slept at what time? 8. 8? Mm -hmm. So I woke up at 2. Mm -hmm. I read like 3 subjects, one chapter each. Mm -hmm. You take your notes or you combine the notes together with the textbook or what do you do? I used to read the book and write the notes. And you write the notes? Yes. Okay, that's amazing. Uh, what other way did you prepare for exams? We used to have group discussions. Group discussions? Yes. How many students per group? Seven. Seven? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then how did you discuss? So I was the group leader, so mm -hmm. we each day had a subject. Mm -hmm. So, breaks time. Mm -hmm. Morning, morning breaks and evening breaks, we used to have these groups. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh, did you face any challenges in education? No. Mm -hmm. uh, what, path, what career path are you considering? Engineering. Why? I just really love physics. Oh, you love physics. Yes. Do you know any any engineer? No, my father is an engineer. Oh, that's so you even know it. Yes. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, did you receive any career guidance at school? No. Okay. Were you involved in any community service mm -hmm. at school? No. Uh -huh. uh, did you have access to technology in school? For all the CBC. For us. Oh, they were for CBC. Yes. No, I'm just saying because a few students mm -hmm. they had the uh, computers and they were able to access them during break time and Google something. But those ones were in private schools, they were not in public. Mm -hmm. they, that's true. Mm -hmm. Did you face any bullying incidences? No. Other students, did other students face any? No. Okay. Um, did you attend tuition classes? Tuition? Mm -hmm. Yes, every Saturday. Every Saturday and Sunday. Uh, and from what time to what time? On Saturdays, uh, from 8 to 7. And then from Sundays, after service, mm -hmm. up to 6. Up to 6. Did you used to pay for them? Yes. How much? 50 bob. Oh, 50 bob. Well, uh, during those tuition classes, were you doing the normal routine or were you doing something different? The teacher used to come and teach us. Okay. Um, how did you cope with exam stress? Never had exam stress. Yeah, because you were? No. Why, did, why didn't you have exam stress? Because you were what? I worked hard. Yes, you were prepared. You were very prepared. Actually, you cannot have. Uh, did you have access to a library? No. Okay. Mm. How did you develop your study skills? How did you develop your study skills? How did you, as in, from when you were young, mm -hmm. you didn't know how to read, as in, to develop study skills, yes? Then how did you start developing them? My mom is a teacher, so from that, I went to school, nursery school for mm -hmm. six years. <laughs> Are you kidding? No. You used to go with her to school? Yes. And then little by little, she told you to read? She's the one who taught me. She's the one who taught you? Yes. And I used to read with the form three. Now I should be in form three, but they didn't want me to be in form three. Now I should be in form three. Your mom is good. 
and she's exceptional you know why mm-hmm. because for a teacher to teach their child every day you keep on reminding them you are a teacher and they go you're not my teacher <laughs> that's so good that's uh, just just keep your your nini up there just keep your it's called what your limit up there you can do everything you want no one should lie to you that okay yes. did you receive any scholarships no okay uh, were you involved in student leadership yes was the president ah, amazing <laughs> how was it as in generally the experience it was great it was great yeah. did you have any challenges never never okay do you have any mentors or role models yes Mhm. Kadikina. Kadikina. Why? I just love how she talks about women. Aha, uh-huh. what she, does she say? She encourages us women. Yes. To be not to rely on men but to proceed in your goals. Yes. True. She's that. Yeah. How do you manage your time effectively? Okay. Mhm. Mm. I usually my mind is set to the time that i want to read mm-hmm. the time that i want to do my own bit mm. yeah okay how do you stay motivated through t- how did how did you stay motivated through your education how do you so my i always stayed motivated mm. my grandmother is the one who made me to believe in myself mm-hmm. she's always mov- motivating me mm-hmm. although she passed away a few years I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. What did she tell you? She used to encourage me to work hard, mm-hmm. to be just like her. To be just. <laughs> wow. She was also, she was also a teacher. Oh. So she wanted me to carry that legacy, but. Yeah, you want something different. It's always okay. So you you already listening to her. You're working hard. Yeah. You can be her in other ways. Yeah, you'll find out many other ways you can be like her. You don't have to be a teacher. Um. What else did she tell you? So she used to tell me mm-hmm. that I should not be afraid of the wrong beings that is around me. Mm-hmm. I should learn how to face my challenges. Mm-hmm. And to, uh, so I have people around surrounding me who love me and care about me. Yes. And to still and to believe in God. Oh, okay. Did you uh, receive counseling in your school years? Counseling, counseling, just counseling in general. Were you counseled as a school? Yeah. What were you told? It was about we came to talk to girls be, uh, about not the HIV pandemic. Yes. The pregnancy. Yes. That's it. Oh, what were you told in just in a few words? So they say mm-hmm. that us girls mm-hmm. as as we get pregnant mm. we are the ones who are going to suffer mm. because the men who are out there they don't care about that because you are the one who was supposed to follow them yes true and uh, now advice a student they are already in school give them three advices which are very key in school yeah in school work hard mm-hmm. be don't uh, avoid peer pressure mm-hmm. and be friends with your teachers and everyone yes how do you avoid peer pressure avoid peer pressure mm. i should choose the right friends mm. choose the right learn how to be active and innovative mm. and be just be yourself okay thank you so much